everyone, and welcome to our 30 day Pilates Soul Sync Body Challenge. I'm so excited you're here. We're gonna really focus throughout this challenge on learning the fundamental basics of Pilates and also really building a sustainable and consistent routine. So let's hop right into today's full body workout. We're going to start off with a stretch. This is how we will start off every practice. We're going to bend those knees and then reach those arms all the way up to the ceiling. Slowly lower down and bring it up. Squeeze those glutes. Those toes are slightly bended out, so kind of to the corner towards your mat. Slow it down and reach it up. Great job. We're gonna focus on using that breath through the motions right here. So we're inhale, lowering down. Exhale, press back up. Inhale, lower down. Press back up. Two more, there we go. Lower down, press back up. Squeeze those glutes and lower down. And press back up, there we go. So throughout a lot of the exercises, it is so important that we're engaging that core. It is fundamental throughout Pilates. So I wanted to do a little breath exercise that will help you guide through all the motions. So place your hands onto your ribs, roll those shoulder blades back, and then we're taking a deep inhale. Those ribs expand really wide. And then on the exhale, those ribs are coming in and we're pulling the belly button in, really squeezing that core. Inhale, expand. Exhale, breathe out. Great job. Feel that body moving with. Inhale through the nose. Expand the lungs. Exhale out. Squeeze and pull that belly button and feel that core working. There we go. Two more. Inhale. Exhale out. One more. Inhale. Feel those rib expand and exhale. Pull the belly button in. Great job. So now you have a good feeling on how to activate that core whenever I say pull the belly button in or engage. Great job. Okay, come into a wide stand. We're gonna reach those arms to the ceiling and then grab that right arm. We're reaching a couple inches up to the ceiling and reach it all over to the left side. Feel that nice deep stretch on the right. Feel those obliques working. That chest is nice and open. Great job. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out. Slowly come back through the middle and then switch over to the other arm. So grab that left arm and reach a couple inches off to the ceiling and then slowly reach it over to the right. Feel that nice stretch into the left side of those obliques. The chest is open. Those shoulders are nice and relaxed. There we go. Inhale. Exhale out. Slowly come back to the middle and then we're slowly letting the whole upper body fall forward. I want you to fold those elbows together and we're gonna swing from side to side, feeling that nice stretch into the back of the leg. Inhale through the nose and exhale out. Inhale, exhale out, great job. I want you to grab those ankles and then slowly pull your nose underneath. Inhale, exhale out. Bend those knees and then we're rolling up bone by bone. Head, neck and shoulders come last and we're shaking it out. Great job. Okay, we're gonna start off with a little standing series, getting into those legs, coming to a wide stand. Gonna come into a squat position, a little pulse and press it back up. Every time we're coming up, I want you to squeeze those glutes right here. Lower down, a little pulse, squeeze it up. There we go. Lower down, little pulse, squeeze it up. Six more. Keep breathing, that chest stays nice and up. And I really want you to focus on that mind-muscle connection right here. So really activate the glute, engage that booty. There we go, and press through those heels. Press it back up. Four more. Three. Two. And one press it back up great job now we're coming home into an ice skater we're gonna tap it over to the left and then tap it across to the right there we go we're really pressing through that heel press up that chest stays nice and open shoulders are low 
and we're just reaching that arm low and everything gets out of that leg. There we go. Squeeze it through for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, great job, five, four, three, two, and one, and come back to the middle, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna come onto one leg. If you have a hard time balancing, it's very easy to just grab the wall or grab a chair. Let's come into a standing position, slight bent into those knees so we're not locking up the knee. Slowly shift over to the left side. We're gonna extend that right leg long. Arms come in front or onto your hips, completely up to you. Pull the belly button in, this will help you with your balance. Then we're slowly lifting up that leg and slowly lowering down. Up and down, point that toe, and I want you to really squeeze that leg long. And I want you to move so slow when we're going up and also when we're going down. So we're really feeling that resistance. There we go, for six, five, four. Again, to modify, you can always grab the wall or a chair. Three, two, and one, hold it here, tiny little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, great job. Now we're gonna reach those arms long, drop the shoulders low, pull the belly button in, so we're squeezing that core. We're gonna shift it all over and then reach and extend it out. Feel that whole extension, to a twist, reach the knee up, and extend it out. Great job. I really want you to feel that you're lengthening through those arms, squeezing that core is working or balance is. There's a slight bend into that standing knee. So we're not locking it up. There we go. Full body guys. Four, three, keep breathing. Two, and one. Slowly come through the middle and shake it out. Great job. We're gonna go straight over to the other side. I want you to focus really on squeezing, engaging every muscle you have. This way we're becoming really in tune and super intentional about all our movements. So, slight bend in the nose, knees. Shift the weight over to the right side. We're gonna extend that left leg long. Either your hands come in front or onto your hips. We're slowly gonna bring that left leg up and lower down. Engage those abdominals up and down. Every time that leg comes up, I want you to hold for a second and slowly come back down. There we go. Six. Keep breathing. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, hold it here. Tiny little pulses up and down for eight. Seven, I know we're feeling that burn. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower down, great job. Now we're gonna extend those arms long, feel that long line across your body. Drop the shoulders low, pull the belly button in. We're gonna twist it over and then reach it out. Squeeze through that leg, point that toe, slight bend into that standing leg, there we go. Four, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, and we're gonna shake it out. Amazing, we're coming over to the back of the mat. Feet are hip wide apart. We're gonna reach those arms up to the ceiling and then slowly lower that upper body down. And we're gonna walk it out into a downward dog right here. We're just gonna walk those heels from side to side. Inhale through the nose, exhale out. Feel that nice stretch right here. Great job. Now I want you to come over to your knees, maybe into a quick child's pose right here. We're gonna rest that head onto the ground, deep inhale. 
and exhale out. Inhale, and exhale out. Great job, and then roll those shoulder blades back. Shake it out, amazing. So we're gonna get a little further into those legs, into the glute and into our thighs right here. I want you to meet me onto your all fours. We're gonna pull that belly button in, press those shoulders wide. Your arms are about hip wide apart. We're gonna get into a couple cat cow stretches. So we're gonna open up that chest, drive your heart up. And then on the exhale, slowly press those shoulder blades wide into the cat cow. Open up, drive through your heart and pull the belly button in, round that spine, press through shoulders wide, and then slowly open up again, great job. Use your breath to drive you through the motion, and bring it back up. Great job, now I want you to meet me into a neutral spine. So have your back nice and straight, your eyes are in front of you. Shift all the way to the left side of the body. We're gonna extend that right leg long and then slowly bend it in. Extend it out. It does not have to go really high. I just want you to reach backwards, squeeze and bring it in. Make sure your core is tight and in right here. So we're almost having a full, full body exercise right here. We're reaching out, squeeze and come back in. Great job. Four. Three, two, and one. So now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna try to add on your left arm. So reach the opposite arm, opposite leg, and then slowly bring it in. Great job, reach it out, reach it in. That core is tight, slow and controlled, full body right here. We have three more, three, two and one great job drop that hand tiny little pulses up here squeeze through the leg getting into that glute pull the belly button in four ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one bring it in great job quick little child's pose right here inhale through the nose exhale out Slowly roll it up, shake it out. We're gonna stay onto this right side. Meet me onto your all fours. Now you can always drop that left elbow onto the ground, completely up to you. We're gonna flex that right foot. This time we're coming into a donkey kick. So we're pressing that back leg into a 45 degree angle, lower down, and then open up to the side, slow and controlled. There we go. Donkey kick up, lower down, Open up to the side, squeeze it through. Great, we have eight of these. You do not have to go fast, but every time we're opening up and we're going back, I want you to squeeze and lower down. Great job. Four more. Four. Three. Slow and controlled, two, and one. Hold it here, tiny little pulses up and down. Only one inch up, one inch down. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo, feeling that burn, great job. Opening up those knees and then reach those arms long into a quick child's pose. Inhale and exhale out. I want you to focus on connecting with your breath, connecting with the movements that you're doing. You're doing absolutely amazing. We're slowly gonna roll it up and then we're gonna shake it out. I'm gonna switch sides quickly so you can see me, but feel free to stay in the same position at home. We're gonna meet into that neutral spine right here on our all fours. Your hands are about shoulder width apart. Your knees are about hip wide apart. Roll the shoulder blades back. Pull the belly button in. Now this time we're gonna shift over to the right side. And then on the exhale, we're gonna slowly reach that left leg back, point that toe and bring it back in. Reach out, bring it back in. Great job. Squeeze that leg, 
slowly bring it in. Squeeze it down, slowly bring it in. Amazing, there we go. Four, four. Three. Two. And one. Now, to make it a little more challenging and get that full body in, we're gonna extend that right arm long with it. So it's the same motion with the leg, but this time we're extending that left right arm long. So we're really feeling that full body, that whole extension, reach out, squeeze that leg and bring it in. Great job, three more. Three. Slow and control. Two. And one. Bring the arm down, really point that toe, squeeze tiny little pulses right here. For 10, nine, push through right here, you can do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knee in, great job. Open up those knees and then reach those arms along into a quick child's pose, inhale through the nose. And exhale out. And then slowly roll it up, roll those shoulder blades back and shake it out. Great job. Again, meet me onto your all fours. You can come down to that right elbow. We're gonna flex that left foot. We're gonna come into a donkey kick, 45 degree angle. Slowly lower down into that fire hydrant over to the side. Squeeze and then lower down. So I want you to take a little moment every time we're opening up to really Press that butt together. Really squeeze it right there. Squeeze and lower down. There we go. Core motions will be so much more intentional when we're actually thinking about the muscle that we're working right here. So we're opening up, lowering down. Bring it in. Great job. Three more. Three. Almost there, I know we're feeling that burn too. And one, hold it here, tiny little pulses up for 10, nine, only one inch up, one inch down. We're pressing that ceiling up an inch. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower it down, great job. Open up those knees, meaning to a quick little child's pose, inhale through the nose. And exhale out. One more deep breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale out. Slowly roll it up, roll the shoulder blades back. Great job. We're gonna come onto the front of the mat, get into a little bit of core work for today. Come into a seated position, your feet are about hip wide apart. We're gonna reach those arms long. Now I want you to feel you're almost sitting against the wall, so there's a little string pulling you up right here. Palms are facing each other, drop the shoulders low. Now take a deep inhale, we're slowly gonna round that back, engage that core and get into a little C curve right here. And then we're slowly lowering down bone by bone over that spine and then reaching those arms all the way to the back. Great job. Now the arms come slowly up, head, neck and shoulders follow, and again, bone by bone, maybe into a seated position and drop the shoulders low. Great job. Inhale, slowly feel that C curve and then roll down bone by bone. Reach those arms all the way back. Bring the arms up. Head, neck, and shoulders come off to the ground. Use that core to drive you up. Lower down the arms, great job. Again, sit right up, lower down. Take a deep inhale, pull the belly button in, feel that C curve, and then bone by bone, really roll down. Reach the arms back. Bring the arms up. Head, neck, and shoulders come off to the ground and roll back up, great job. This time we're gonna pause halfway through. We're gonna open up to the right, bring it in, open up to the left. Great job, getting into those obliques, that core is working. Feel that strength into the arms, open up and bring it in. Five, four, three, great job. 
two and one slowly lower down and then let those arms and legs rest for a second inhale through the nose exhale out great job so that core should be warm especially after our whole workout now we're going to get into a little bit of an ab burner so want to place your right leg into a tabletop place your left leg into a tabletop and then reach those arms up to the ceiling the palms are facing each other drop their shoulders low now it's super important that you're engaging that core pressing that back into the ground that's where you know that you're actually activating those abdominals take a deep inhale on the exhale we're going to reach that left leg and a right arm long. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Slowly bring it in and then we're switching over to the other side. So we're just gonna alternate from side to side and really make sure you're pressing the back into the ground. I do not wanna see any space between the back and the ground. There we go. Four, six, five. Keep breathing. Use that core to drive you through the motion. Feel that extension right here. Three, two, and one. Great job. Inhale. On the exhale, the head, neck, and shoulders come off to the ground. Now we're going to extend that left leg long. Grab that right knee, and your elbows are nice and wide. We're just going to hold here. The shoulders just lightly off to the ground. Four, six, five, four, three two and one and switch to bring that left knee in towards the chest we're holding here for six five four three two and one and alternate right here four eight seven six five four three two and one slowly lower down bring the legs down great job Okay, we're gonna get into that bicycle again, but this time the arms and the upper body are actually gonna move with. So bring that right leg into tabletop, bring the left leg into tabletop, bring the arms behind the head and then elbows are nice and wide. Take a deep inhale on the exhale, head, neck, shoulders come off to the ground. We're pressing that back into the ground and really using that core right here. We're gonna extend that leg long. And then that right armpit reaches to that left knee and we're gonna switch it over to the other side. So slow and controlled into our very controlled bicycles right here. This is my favorite exercise to use that whole core. Those abs are working, reach that leg long, squeeze it all the way through. There we go, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one slowly lower down great job now we're gonna roll it over to one side press yourself back up we're getting into a 20 30 second plank position this will work our upper body or core and this will be a final exercise of today so place those elbows onto the ground the arms are parallel next to each other, so it keeps the shoulders straight. We're gonna extend that right leg long, extend the left leg long, and then we're just gonna squeeze that core. Squeeze those glutes together, squeeze those abdominals. This is your final exercise right here. Keep going, really squeeze it through. Take a couple deep breaths. There we go. We're holding here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. We meet into a nice deep child's pose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out. Great job. Come up right. Fold those arms together. Open up that chest. Inhale and exhale out. Great job. We're gonna get into a quick Pigeon stretch is always my favorite to open up those hips. So we're bringing that right leg in front, tuck that left toe. We're gonna open up that chest. Take a deep inhale and on the exhale, we're slowly gonna lower down that whole body right here. Let the head rest onto your hands. And we're just really gonna release all that energy that we're feeling, wanna get rid of. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, sink one inch further into the ground. It's 
slowly press it back up, tuck that toe, and we'll switch over to the other side. So bringing that left leg in front, tuck that toe, opening up that chest. Take a deep inhale and then exhale, we're slowly lowering down that whole body. Let the head rest onto your hands. Inhale, exhale out. slowly tuck great job meet me into a seated position we're gonna reach those arms up to the ceiling slowly fold them through the middle replacing your right hand onto your heart your left hand onto your belly button roll the shoulder blades back close your eyes take a deep inhale through the nose exhale out now checking with your body today was day one of our challenge the most important thing is to be showing up for yourself, to be consistent and really work on the progress and over any perfection. It's always okay to modify, to change a few exercises that maybe flow better for your body that day. Now take a deep inhale, exhale out. One more deep breath, inhale and exhale out. Great job, I am so proud of you for accomplishing the first day. Honestly, it is always harder to start, so you already did that. You accomplished all the hard work. I'm so excited for you to join me the rest of the program, so I will see you very soon.